Hi. Hey, Chloe. Nice to see you again. How are you? Very well. How are you? Very well. Thank you so much. Let's start with the obvious and everyone's infatuation with Tom and Jerry. I definitely had it. My daughter just discovered them. Uh, <laughs> was it the same for you? Is it, you know, they seem to be loved by everyone. There's honestly, there's no one I've talked to at, uh, in every country, in every world. Everyone loves Tom and Jerry. And it makes me so happy because I was absolutely in love with Tom and Jerry from the time I was at least two years old for so many reasons. And I think one is that it really enlivened my imagination so much, being that they weren't speaking to each other. So you can really completely understand it no matter what. You can pop into any episode and be, you know, caught up with where they're going and, uh, and, and watch their crazy antics, you know, ensue on screen. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, you know, they, they are very enduring celebrities. I mean, you know, who, who, who stays famous for over 60 years, right? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. How excited were you to see the final product? Because obviously the process of filming it doesn't really have them on set. I, I basically, at the very beginning of the movie, I saw one little clip that mm. Tim had put together for the studio to be able to see kind of what they were doing. And it was just mm. one clip of a New York street of them running across the street toward each other. And that was all I knew about what we were kind of getting into. Um, and for me as a fan, my biggest question was like, you're gonna keep them 2D, right? They're, they're gonna look like they were in the, in the cartoons growing up. Like you're not gonna make it too modern. And they really, in my opinion, as a fan, they really held true to that. And I was so, so happy and so proud of that. So for me, you know, it was really working with the animators, working with the director to kind of ask, how far can I go? If I go further, will it help you? And the answer, you know, unanimously across the board was the more you improv and the more you make up of what's happening around you, we can then animate them into that. So it was a daunting task, but I mean, how exciting to be able to be an actor and help create um, on behalf of the characters as well. I mean, it was, it was a perfect opportunity. No, absolutely. And, and you've done really well to seamlessly, you know, put together the animation and, uh, and the live action at, at the same time. So that must have been exciting. Also, as you said, the improv and, and all the comedy on set. Oh, there was so much improv, so much comedy. And we were filming it actually, we were filming it in London, but we were filming it in, in the studios and they didn't have any air conditioning. So what also added to it is that we were, we were burning hot. And so I think we were also crazed. So we were just like, you know, spinning, spinning out into all this crazy antics. And so I think that pushed, honestly, the comedy even further. So it was, uh, it was maybe the perfect storm. <laughs>